when you're young, you can't wait to be grown. Once you're grown, there is no going back. For this video right here, I'm going to be talking about going to prison at a young age. I know a lot of people, you know, find themselves on a roll, you know, living in that fast life. And before you know it, book them, Dano. Sit back and enjoy. If you're a young buck and you're used to, you know, committing crimes, getting into shit when you're younger, this video right here is for you. Ha <laughs> ha, dong the best. Finna be this way till I EOS. Take it how you want, nigga. Yeah, I'm a pro. Fuck around, I'll bust your lot while you're at Vizzo. I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment. Waking up every day, show me an opponent. Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks. So much pool, I can even start you from the box. You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent. Got lax on deck, your money was well spent. Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing. Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing. You a hold down man, suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, y'all? You already know, man. Kid Frog TV back in the building. Y'all make sure y'all do me that solid favor. Go ahead, hit that like, subscribe button, and also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Also, one more thing I do want to say is make sure your notification bell is placed on all, not personalized. Therefore, you get notified every time a video drops. All right. Now, for this video here, I'm gonna be talking about you know prison at a young age, and the reason I felt like doing this video is because you know just recently, you know. I, you know, checked my messages, you feel me, like, my messages that, like, I'm not notified about, like, the ones that get put, like, in your restrict message, you know, box, so, I'm looking on there, and I had a couple, uh, comments from individuals who are actually young, you know, saying, man, I've been watching your channel, you know, it keeps me out of trouble, made me turn my life around, I just got out of the detention center, I'm looking at a juvenile program, yada, 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 yada. And it made me want to look into the analytics of my channel, okay? For those that don't know what analytics is, it's basically like your stats, all right? And you're able to look at, you know, your age group, you know, the percentages of age brackets of what watch your channel with the interactive of people that are viewing from the outside. And I realized I got a little, little nice percentage of young bucks that watch, okay? And when I say young bucks, I'm talking about from 18 to like 23, all right? And... It made me want to do this video to let y'all know what it's like going to prison at a young age. Now, don't get me wrong, I went in my early 20s. So, there's people that go to prison way earlier than that. But, me going in my early 20s, that was actually, you know, at the peak of my beginning of being an adult. Alright, now, I'm going to let you know what it's like, how it was for me. And hopefully, you know, some of you young cats that be watching this, you can learn from this shit and you can stop while you're ahead. First things first. Every video that I put out there talking about prison, I want to make y'all know for a fact that I do not glorify prison. I just want to keep dropping that real spill. I just want people to know the truth about what it's really like, okay? And at the end of the day, love me or hate me, you're still going to get nothing but that real spill on this channel, okay? No matter how many people fuck with K-Frog, how many people don't fuck with K-Frog, at the end of the day, ain't nothing going to change. It's going to be 100% facts that you get over here on this channel. Now... Don't get me wrong, when I was younger, been in and out of the juvenile programs, detention centers, alternative schools, all that. Now, I've been locked up when I was young, you feel me? And I didn't really catch on to how it felt. It just felt normal, you know, just because I lived in a little bad neighborhood. It was worse when I was younger than it is now. So, coming up, you know, you out there hanging out with the older cats, you on the block getting in the shit, making sales, doing whatever you got to do, you know, to, to make a dollar. And it isn't like... You're intentionally trying to fit in, but it's that's what the environment is. So if you're not doing that, you yourself won't fit in. You feel me? Next thing you know, I found myself locked up at a young age, and majority of my crimes when I was younger were violent charges. Now, when I first was locked up at a young age, of course, I went to the detention center, the juvenile program, stuff like that. Did I learn my lesson? Not at all. Was I trying to learn my lesson? Not at all. You feel me? All I did was go there and that's where I'm at now and still did the same shit that I was used to doing growing up. Still in there getting in the fights, robbing, participating in extortion, whatever it was, playing with knives, locks, bars of soap, hitting bitches with bars of soap like you see in military movies how they come in there when you're sleeping and they pat your ass up. We were doing all that. We used to call it our Glock 40. Our Glock 40 was actually a dial soap inside of a sock. You know what I'm saying? Now, the more and more that I went through this at a young age, the more and more it prepared me for when I actually landed in prison. But one thing I will say is 
when I landed in prison, it hit me. Too late now, frog. Too late for you to slow your roll. You know what I'm saying? Even though I was innocent on the bid I was in there for, it still made me realize because you got nothing but time. So it still made me think back on all the shit I got away with and all the th things I was doing the way that I was living on the streets. You know, it makes you realize who your friends are. It makes you realize who really cares about you the most, who you're not paying attention to at that moment while you was out there with them. You feel me? You start learning these things from being locked up at a young age. You feel me? And to be real with you, when it comes to the young cats or the old coons inside of prison, who has it worse? I'm going to tell you. When you're young and you get sent to that JIT camp, gladiator school, yeah, it's going to get that TOH. You're going to have to fight. There's going to be gangs that are going to try to make you be part of their organization. You're going to have to slang iron. You're going to have to cut people with razors. You're going to have to do things that you don't want to do, but that's the lifestyle that you're stuck to be in there with. And then, like I said, it'll be too late for you to decide, nah, all right, I'm going to slow my roll. Too late. You got calendars to do now. You understand? You got a bunch of Christmases and Thanksgivings and Halloweens and New Years and birthdays that you are not going to be seeing on the streets. You feel me? And you're already there. So now you're going to find yourself getting into more shit, trying to adapt with what's around you, you know, which is your reality at the moment. And before you know it, you're actually going to be worse. And you could get yourself physically hurt more, you know, because that's what's going on in there. You feel me? Now... For the young cats, they got it the worst when it comes to being, you know, toh when it comes to JIT camp. Them JIT prisons are way worse than adult prison, all right? Now, don't get me wrong. The way they do it down here in the state of Florida, they started closing down a lot of these JIT camps, like Brevard, you know, Lancaster's one that a lot of people knew about as well. All these little JIT camps that was once, you know, known as being a threat, some of them are shut down now. Not all of them, but... Some are so bad that the extortion was so bad that instead of getting $100 a week like you're entitled, you know, they dropped it down to $25 a week because everybody was robbing, everybody was stealing, everybody was making people break it off, you know. And to me, out of the Jits and the old coons, the Jits got it the worst in a JIT camp. A JIT camp is worse than an adult institution, you feel me? So you look at it this way. Say you catch five years. If you catch five years... You know, as a juvenile, you're going to max out, which means you are not going to come home early for good days or none of that because you're going to constantly be into some shit. If you catch five years as an adult, you may get out in a little less than four. You feel me? With good days. It's more lenient. But I will say this. The old coons, the older people, you know, got it just as bad in prison when it's an institution that has jits there. You feel me? Because like I said, some institutions are broke down. They're no longer there. So what do you think they do with the young inmates? They scatter them across other compounds. Some places actually have JIT dorms or they'll have split compounds where that side's for the JITs and this side's for the older people. Or some they have them where they're just scattered everywhere. Now, while I was at Charlotte, scattered everywhere. Okay, and the older people actually have it the worst at that time because them same jits who had it the worst at jit camp are now taking advantage of the older people, trying the older people, robbing the older people, jumping the older people, stabbing them, beating them up, doing all types of stuff like that. You feel me? And then when you get to them institutions to where, like at Calhoun, where I was at, I was in the jit dorm. Feel me? G dorm was for the jits, 24 and under. G1 and G2, gangland. You know what I'm saying? And... I seen jits that were younger than me that had more than triple the time I had because they waited too long to learn their lesson, okay? And they all had the same type of background. It isn't like they were different. They all kind of were alike, you know? They all started off with getting in trouble in the neighborhood, getting in trouble in school, you know, going to fucking the detention center, going to juvenile programs, you know, got a second chance at like boot camp before they went to prison. And now look at them, bam, 40 years, 60 years, 70 years. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to touch this topic and speak on it because I don't like the lecture. I don't like to preach. But the messages that I got just triggered me to drop this video. Now, as long as I had this prison channel, I've had hundreds of messages 
from youths alone, from younger people alone. But it just, me looking into my messages and seeing that within this last week, it was just so many of them. So I'm like, okay, made me want to dig in and see how many people actually watch that are younger, you know what I'm saying? For me, it sucked that I was there, but there was nothing I could do about it, you know? And I'm going to be real with you. There's a difference from being hard-headed, you know what I'm saying, than there is, you know, from just being a full-blown goon. Because if you're a full-blown goon and that savage life and committing them crimes and thinking you cool and you stand out because you're the jitterbug in the neighborhood that's doing more crazier shit than the older cats, if that's what you want to do and that's the way you want to persuade it, then prison's got a spot for you. You know what I'm saying? But if you could actually take the time to step back and learn before it is too late, I'm going to try to push that message out there for you. Because like I said, when you're in prison, you see who's there for you, who ain't, and you start seeing who you should have been there more with and who really cares for you. Because when you're gone, you're going to start realizing, damn, all my dogs, you know, they ain't wrote me nothing. They ain't fucked with me. They ain't come visit me since I've been in here. That hoe I was taking care of, or them hoes I was running through while I was on the streets, them bitches don't be answering. They get blown up, knocked up by somebody, have a baby by the time you come home, act like they never knew you. You know, so it kind of makes it to where you go into prison at a young age, and even when you're older, it kind of makes it to where you're in there out of sight, out of mind, and it's so grimy that it's like that, that it makes you feel like the love and everything from prior to going there wasn't real. You feel me? It makes you feel like everything before prison wasn't real. Like y'all's homeboys wasn't, y'all, it, it wasn't 1,000. It wasn't, your, your, your relationship with the female wasn't 1,000. And it makes you feel like that. But in all reality, prison's supposed to feel like that. Prison is supposed to be to where the love stays how it is on the streets. And y'all don't let nothing come between you, not even prison. You feel me? That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be to where you feel like prison is like this for the time being, but when you get back out there, you know it's real. But it kind of exposes, you know, and lets you see the same people that you wasn't paying attention to that much. You know what I'm saying? For instance, you could be there could be a girl out there that you was just cramming, you know, just knocking her down and keeping it moving. You was in that fast life, not taking her serious, didn't care. She, all, You know, you broke her heart a hundred times, didn't think nothing about the bitch. Next thing you know, while you locked up, the same hoe you tried her for several times with, or your homeboys that you was always riding with, you know, telling you to shit on that hoe, are gonna all leave you hanging. And then out of the blue, the one person you're not thinking of, which could be that female, will be the one that writes you, sends you money, starts being there for you. You understand? And that's what prison does. It, it breaks things down. It basically breaks bonds from the past. You know what I'm saying? And it opens up doors for your future. You see what I'm saying? And me personally, having this platform of me being able to talk about this and hopefully, you know, some people, you know, bing and learn from it, it'll make me feel good myself. Even though I'm not a hypocrite because I went through it and didn't change on my own. But me going through the experience just makes me another individual who can actually share to try to help people not go down that path. You feel me? And like I said, for the young people, this video is straight for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Literally. There is so many people, and it's been going on for decades, centuries. There's so many people that have went to prison that started at a young age that just kept getting in trouble. It was like a loop. Reoffender loop. And before you know, it was over. It was too late. You feel what I'm saying? That's where patience comes in at. You know what I'm saying? Chestnut checkers, you know, you got to be a couple steps ahead. So if I was younger and I could go back in time and there was somebody out there like me on YouTube to where they had footage of what prison was like, they, they keep it real, telling me every single thing of how it was. They went in there for something they didn't even do. And, you know, they, they're, they're breaking their experiences down. And I knew I was on that path to be going through the same shit. I would take advantage of being able to watch this shit. You understand? And I would try to learn from it. You feel me? Now, don't get me wrong. There's younger cats that know me 
you know, personally. Like my homeboys, you know, nephews and little jits in the neighborhood and shit like that. They look at me like I'm an icon. They look at me like I'm a role model, like I'm a top of the line. But what they want to do is, is they want to impress me so much to show they're down. You know what I'm saying? They want to act like they're so get ghetto and gangster when they see me. That ain't the way to do it. You feel me? When in all reality, I have strangers who don't know me, that are younger, that are actually reforming their life, changing things around, that are trying to go down a different path just from the videos and information that I can give about prison. That right there, that right there is impressing me. You understand? That's what impresses me. That's what motivates me. Because I got people who don't even know me, who don't know nothing about me, never met me in real life, and they are taking my words into consideration and it's helping them do better. You won't believe how many people I ran into that work at fast food restaurants, Walmarts, Targets, grocery stores and shit like that, that told me they were on a bad path until they started watching my channel. Now that they watch my channel to get them a job, they stay out of trouble. You feel me? It makes sense, you know, because when you got money coming in, you, Nine times out of ten, you're going to be focusing on that bread more than you are proving yourself. You feel me? And I done said this numerous times. It's hard to beef and get money at the same time. It's hard to grind and beef at the same time. You see what I'm saying? So with all that rah-rah riding around and trying to act like you a gangster, you a savage and all this shit, yeah, it may be what you're used to. You know what I'm saying? And you're kind of worried about making everybody else look up at you like oh man bro on that you feel me but at the end of the day it don't matter how long you've been doing it it don't matter how many people you impressed by being a gangster on the streets all the shootings all the fights all the brawls all the hoes you smashed it don't matter about none of that shit because as soon as you get locked up them same people gonna be looking down at you literally the only rightful way to make your little ones or your older ones, which would be your parents, your ancestors, your, your elderly, or your child, which, you know, is up under you, your nephews, your nieces, to make them physically proud of you and look at you up all the time is to by turning your life around at a young age. Be known as that kid that used to be like that. You understand? You used to get in the shit. When you first started, yeah, he was getting in trouble, in and out of detention, getting expelled from school, getting on fights at at the bus stop, getting expelled off the bus for fighting. You know, next thing you know, he went to a juvenile detention center, went to a program. He's been through all that. And then all of a sudden, bam, he got his first job. You know what I'm saying? You were going like this at first. You know, your people lost all hope because at the end of the day, it's only you that can change. You're going like this at first. Next thing you know, you get you a job. You start staying out of shit. You ain't got in trouble no more. Your whole life is elevating. You feel me? And if I could go back in time and, and redo it like that, I would. You know what I'm saying? Because to thousands of people, I got it made. To thousands of people, K-Frog's the man. But it sucks what I had to go through in order to get there. There's, there's, there's a million less ways. You know what I'm saying? There's a million ways that would be less the bullshit that I had to go through to get here. You understand? And if me talking about it for the young bucks can help someone else take a shortcut, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you can't make everybody happy. You can't please everybody. And this is when you're young. This is when you're fucking old. This is when you're a baby. No matter what it is, you can't make everybody happy. But do what is best for you and you will realize that staying out of trouble, turning your life around before it's too late, you know what I'm saying? Not landing in prison for plus many years. You will learn that was in your best interest. You see what I'm saying? And if you start off 10 deep and all y'all are living that fucking crime life, that in and out of you know juvenile program life, you start 10 deep, by the time you get to my age, you're going to see how there's only like two or three of y'all that actually have a good life now. You'll see all the other seven or eight of them actually, you know, are still doing that. Ain't got shit to show. No vehicle. No house. Still riding bikes. Still trying to make little petty plays. Nickel and diamond. Middleman in the middle of sacks. You know, you're going to see that. And the reason that their life is still like that is because they focus too hard on impressing others 
and the time that they needed to build for their self to be at their best, they missed it. That's exactly why you need to turn your life around while you can. Don't be one of these young people that I've seen, 20 years old, 40 plus years. If he ain't never had no pussy, he ain't never getting none. If he does, it's a miracle that he pulled a female officer. Or other than that, he's going to be sleeping with boys. You see? that's You don't want to be one of them. You got to stop while you're ahead. And then at the end of the day, when you catch crimes and you get yourself arrested over this stuff, it don't seem like that big of a deal. You know? Y'all ever notice that? The charge you catch don't even seem like it was that bad. You feel me? And they're trying to hit you with that hammer and railroad you. Right? Because you're considered a menace to society. If you're especially one of those ones that actually been arrested and got into some shit and then they gave you a second chance or you're out again after going up the road for a couple years and you're still young, take that first bid and keep that shit in your mind. And even if it wasn't that bad of an experience, still look at the little things and try to use it to prevent from going back again. Look at how you was away from people that you love, the people that loved you. Don't nobody in there love you. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody in there really care about you. Look at how you can't open a refrigerator when you want to. You can't go in there and decide if you want a cold drink or a hot drink. All you can get is a hot drink. You see what I'm saying? Ice. You can't get no ice when you want to unless you pay an orderly or someone to bring you a bag of ice. You feel me? You ain't got no light switch. You can't control when it's lights on, lights off. You got to wait for a person to give you toilet paper to wipe your ass. You can't even wipe your ass without them giving you toilet paper. You can't even get out your bed and get on the phone whenever they tell you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wait till they tell you to do it. You feel me? You gotta notice these little things. Little things to where, yeah, it wasn't that violent, it was laid back, but at the same time, look at all the little things that you're sweeping under the rug and not paying attention to. And then you get out and you go right back because prison wasn't that bad. Yeah, but then next thing you know is you get older and you go to prison, you feel me? You're going to start catching on that the same people that was around when you were younger, not around now that you're older. That's less people that are going to be there for you on your next bid compared to how many were there on your first bid. You might have hundreds of people out there saying free you all on the internet and everything when you're a jit. Free you, free you, free him till it's backwards. Posting pictures and all this shit. Yeah, but then after, you know, you done did it a couple times, they're not going to do that shit no more. It's played out. It's literally played out. You feel me? And then when you get to an age to where it's a long stretch, they're going to put that shit up there when you first get sentenced. That's it. And then when you're about to come home, they'll do it again just to make you feel like they was there riding for you. They knew you had it in you your whole time. And it don't be like that. And then... You're going to find yourself doing these bids when there was a thousand signs before you landed in prison to where you should change your life. There was a thousand signs where you knew, damn, bro, damn, bro, you didn't follow your instinct or the little signs that pop up in your head. You just ignored them and kept doing what you were doing. And then, bam, before it's too late. Yeah, you know, I, I was only facing three years before, but, you know, I should have seen the signs of fall back, but I didn't. And now I got a 20 piece. You feel me? Straight up. And then you think about it. If you're 20 years old and you catch a 20 piece, that's 40 years, right? Old. By the time you get out, you'll be, you know what I'm saying? You'll be 40. How old do you think your peoples will be? Your parents? Your loved ones? How many of them do you think will still be around? How many of them do you think will still be alive? Let's just be real. You're going to get out and the world is going to be totally different. People you knew that were together are not together no more. You got brothers and sisters, by the time you get out doing a 20 piece, nine times out of 10, if not 10 out of 10, your brother and sisters are going to have kids. You're going to have nieces and nephews that you never met before. And someone in your family, your older ones, your mom and dad might not be around no more. Straight up. You feel me? I'm luckily, you know, that I had one parent still around when I went to prison. When I was younger and I was going in and out of the programs, in and out of the fucking detention center, in and out of the county jail, I had both parents. I had a mom and a dad. They were both there. Did I learn my lesson? Nah. And then when I got out of the county jail before I went to prison, I lost my dad, went to prison. Had my old girl while I was in prison. Don't even have my old girl no more. She just passed away on Valentine's Day, to be exact. You see what I'm saying? So you think about it. If I went to prison again right now, I'd be a fool. You understand? Because 
Not just from what I got going on for myself and not just because I don't have no loved ones around no more, but the fact that I know everything I'm telling you, I know this. So it's like me going back would be dumb as hell. Me putting myself on that platter would be dumb as hell like I'm just a waste of a life. You feel me? And like I said, if I could go back in time when I was younger and learn my lesson, you know, I would. But I can't. So all I can do is try to help the young bucks learn before it is too late. Before you get put in that place and you, you don't know how to do time, really. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, going to a program, going to the fucking detention center makes you feel like you're doing time. It is totally different when you get sent up that road for a couple years at a young age. Totally different. You're going to see things that you didn't see in the program. You're going to see things that you didn't see in the detention center. The field's going to be totally different. And it can traumatize you. And you might not know you're traumatized. Some people see things in prison that your eyes ain't meant to see, your mind ain't meant to cope with it, and it traumatizes you for the rest of your life. And you act some type of way and you don't even know it is a trauma situation from things you've seen. Don't be one of these young jits that had several chances, several chances, and mess it up. Because I'll tell you what, say you're underage, say you're a jit, and you catch robbery charge. You know, they send you to a detention center and then send you to a program. That's a slap on the wrist. Fuck around and catch that when you're an adult. And you'll notice the difference in the time they're giving out. Don't look at it like, oh yeah, I did this much time when I was younger for robbery, you feel me? And then go do the same shit. I can't tell you how many people I met in prison that was young, early 20s, that was in there for the same shit that they were doing when they went to the program. When they went to the detention center. You feel me? You got to learn from these things. Stop when you're ahead. Oh, how many years you got? Oh, they gave me 26. 26 years? Yeah. Oh, you went to prison before this? Nah. You see? You got to think, man, before it is too late because they are handing out football numbers. They're giving you some shit to where when you get it, you can't believe it. You'll get more time than you done lived. Believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's best to learn why you can once you become an adult, once people look at you and you're of a certain age, then people are not going to be willing to help you. All right? Think about it. If you're young right now and you need to make money and it's summertime, you could go knock on random doors and ask them to cut their grass. Not everybody will do it, you know, but some people are going to respect it that you're young and you're out here trying to get money during the summer. They might respect your hustle. Oh, $25 to cut the yard? All right, go ahead. And they might give you 40 because they like how you're a young dude with ambition. You're young. You're trying to get it in. You're grinding, sweating to get that money. You feel me? Now try to go knock on the door as a grown man trying to cut someone's grass. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're lucky if one of them say, yeah, man, yeah, go ahead. No. They're going to be like, man, get the fuck out of my yard, man. What's this dude doing in my yard? You see what I'm saying? So you don't get the same help when you're older that you will get when you're younger, man. You got to take advantage of that shit. Because like I said, when you're young and you're getting into trouble, you can't wait to be an adult. You can't wait to be 18 to where you ain't got to ask people in front of the store, hey, bro, you can buy me a black amount? Hey, you can buy me a mini Dutch? You know what I'm saying? Oh, bro, you can get me a pack of cigarettes? You know, standing out there trying to ask people to hit the store for you. You can't wait till you're 18 so you can do it yourself. And the next you're like, oh, I can't wait till I'm 21. Then I can buy my own liquor, hit the club, all that. Man, we was doing all that shit when we were 16 where I grew up at. Our clubs and shit, boy, they were letting us in as jits. You pay 50. Instead of paying 20 to get in, you pay 50. You was getting in at a young age. You know what I'm saying? We done been through it all. So by the time it was legal for us, that shit's played out. You see what I'm saying? Literally. And then now you'll be stuck in a position like me and everybody I know growing up. Now, it's like our birthdays come quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker and we're getting older and older and older, faster and faster. You feel me? So you got to take advantage of the fact that you're young. You got to sit there and you got to make sure you learn as much as you can while you can. Because once you start catching charges and shit as an adult, them slap on the wrist, boy, going out the window. Unless you police it on someone, you becoming a CI, a confidential informant, and you giving them a bigger fish than you. Other than that, they, they ain't finna play with you. You see what I'm saying? So for you young bucks, this video is strictly for y'all. Learn your lesson while you're ahead. And for all the ones that wrote me before in the past, all the ones that watch this channel, that is in that little lower age bracket, I'm telling you. 
Take my words of advice. At the end of the day, you're going to live whatever life you decide to live. You feel me? But stop while you're ahead before you're one of them jits that end up doing more time than you done lived. You got parents out here that are getting older also. And you got to remember that. You feel me? Because before you know it, they're going to be gone. Just like mine. You feel me? But anyways, y'all, I'm going to wrap this video on up. I appreciate y'all tuning in. You know what I'm saying? For all the older people that done the, been to prison, for all the people that know exactly what I'm talking about, man, drop some word of wisdom inside these comments for these young bucks that be getting in trouble. Because throughout the years, they be younger and younger that throw their life away. I appreciate y'all watching, man. Y'all already know. Hit that like, subscribe button on the way out if you ain't hit it on the way in. Keep them rat squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, clout chasers, motherfuckers that lie on YouTube and shit for fucking no reason. People who want to quit all of a sudden because they know they ain't had no content. You feel me? There's, there's, there's only a handful of people that can, you know, make a hustle out of it. After you can't do it, man, all of a sudden you quit because you're a quitter. You already know, man. This K-Frog. I am my team.